How's it going guys? It's Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about this application right here. This is the official Twerp app. This is very new. Um, there is already 10,000 downloads but it only got released about a couple days ago. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of do a view review and show you what, it, what the app is about, right? So we're going to go ahead and install it here on my device. And to use this correctly, you do need to have root access to really utilize all of its features, but I'm just going to show you what we're working with. So the first thing is just to go ahead and agree to, you know, if this thing messes your device up, it's not their fault kind of thing, right? Uh, the next one is if you want to run the device as root um, with root access is that checkbox. And then the last one is, is to enable network statistics. Now let me explain what that is, okay? Network statistics is basically what they're doing is they're going to monitor your device's network based on your carrier, and they're going to take all that data, compile it, and then compare it to other networks and other devices in the same area that you're in. So they're basically tracking a bunch of your network speeds, and the idea behind this is just to see what is the best network in your area. So it's not something you have to actually enable at all. It's just an option if you're interested in it. Check it out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit root. So we're going to do it as root, run with root permission. You should get a pop-up here if you haven't allowed it already. I've already actually allowed Torp to already have root access. But normally you get your super su pop-up or, you know, if you're running Sige and Mod, whatever's built in. So I'm actually running Sige and Mod currently. So go uh, ahead and, and you're done here. So now if you want network statistics and you've enabled those, you can click on this tab right here and it'll go through the network statistics stuff and, and, and do that stuff, but I'm not really interested in that. That's kind of an extra for this application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, flash twerp, and here it is. Here's the allow root access, so I'm going to say allow and allow. Remember my choice and allow. That way it makes it stir, it stays. And then you can see what you got here. You, so you have flash to boot, flash to recovery, so it's very simple how this works, but let's look at some of the other settings. So let's go in here. Um, the other thing that this does is with root access, it'll check every day if there's a newer version of Twerp for your device. So well, first we're going to select our device, and the best way to do that is just do the, in the search here. Just type in. So this is the Motorola 4th Gen. So Motorola Moto G, and then I have uh, Athen, and hit hit that. Now, um, this also gives you the Torp image, the current Torp image. You can see that. So you can click on this, hit OK to allow downloads. And it actually just opens up the exact download page for Torp recovery for your device. And you can just go ahead and click on the download and, and go ahead and check it. And you can see I've actually downloaded it before, but just so you can see what it looks like. And here's the files, and they're downloaded. So we can actually click on that and actually just go back. Now, this, this app, don't get me wrong, it needs some kind of finesse and um, to really get it really working well. It's, it, it's going to be updated, So, but this is just what you've got right now. Um, one thing I want to point out, do not flash recovery images from Torp to boot. Don't do it. Do not do it. It'll mess up your device, okay? You can flash kernels and stuff with it, but and just, just to give you a feel for how it works. Um, if you want to know what device you're on, something I recommend doing, and you should know this anyway if you're flashing things, is just come into um, settings about phone, and we said it was Athen, right? So we should be able to see that somewhere. So right here, this is a CM build Athen, so you can see it there. Um, so there should be a way to find out that code name in about phone. All right, so let's go back in. So we have Athen selected as our device. Um, let's go ahead and select the file we want to flash. So we're in downloads. There's our two twerp images. We're just going to select one. And then we're just going to go ahead and click flash to recovery. And uh, you really wish to flash this from the SD card to recovery. And go ahead and hit OK. And basically it just uses root access to flash it to the device or to, um, to recovery. So there we go. And then I think, let's see, we got downloads. Let's try flash. See, it's interesting. It's selected file. I didn't really see anything really take place, which is interesting. Let's click flash to recovery again. This is my first time using it, so I'm kind of curious. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So that should be flash to the recovery partition, which is twerp 3.0.2-0. So I'm trying to see if we have a reboot option. It doesn't look like we do. Um, 
let's just go ahead and reboot and just see if we have the latest twerp on there. So we're going to go ahead and actually we're going to do a power off and we're just going to boot into recovery manually. So I'm going to hold volume down and power. And just go ahead and do this. And then we'll go to recovery mode. There we go. Obviously, you have to have an unlocked bootloader for this to function correctly. Um, you obviously need to have root access if you're trying to flash twerp from the device. And obviously, also, it, there's some finesse that needs to happen here. Right there, you can see the twerp recovery version. So we are on the latest and greatest, and we do have twerp recovery installed. So pretty simple to use. Um, basically, I think that the thing that what's what makes this application nice is just that it makes it simple to go ahead and pull the twerp image right to the phone and then flash it with root access and boom, you're updated to the latest and greatest twerp. That's that's really what what this is all about and what makes this application nice and easy to use. So there you go. That's it. I'm sure this thing's going to be updated and we'll have. I'm hoping to have a cleaner interface. I feel like the flow of that interface was a little bit lacking. Um, but hopefully we'll get some updates soon, but this is officially from, uh, the Twerp team, Twerp recovery, team one recovery team. So I'm excited to see where it's going to go in the future. But if you're interested in this application, you want to know how to get updated to the latest Twerp recovery on your device very easily, check it out. And, uh, there you go. That's going to wrap it up for me guys in this quick video here on Twerp official application. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do tune for more videos. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Google plus YouTube, obviously. And uh, that's going to wrap it up. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Root Junkie out.